guys, Doreen from Door Designs. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, I know it's been about a week and a half to two weeks since I've done a tutorial. I apologize for that. I've had a little bit of a shoulder and a neck issue going on, but I've had it checked out. I've had my scans done. They came back looking pretty good. Got to do some therapy, but other than that, I think I'm good to go. So back to work, back to doing some designing. And on today's design, we're actually going to be doing about an 18 to a 20 inch round grapevine wreath. And I'm gonna kind of show you some different ways of layering picks to where you don't really have to think about a lot of different greeneries and things to add. The picks are gonna do most of the work for you. So I'm gonna be using these two picks. I got them at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're all on sale, so now's a good time to get them. But this is the first one, and this is the second one. And I know if you're shopping and out looking at them, you'd probably look at these and wonder why, you know, I would put them together. Well, once we put some filler in, I think it's gonna look really pretty, at least I'm hoping it is. The things I want you to kind of notice on picks is, when you get a pick and it's already got all of this, it really takes away from a lot of the guessing and stuff of what you wanna to add to kind of fill in. And I get that question asked a lot, how do you know what to add in to your main part of it? Well, this, this has your job done. This is your second one. And you'll notice they're both cream. They both have green. This one's got green speckles on it. And this one has green lines going through it. So they do kind of go together. It's just the leaves and stuff look totally opposite. But like I said, I think they're going to look really pretty together. Um, kind of the inspiration for my ribbon was this filler. And this is the filler we're going to be using. And I want you to notice that on all these little bitty berries, it's got bright orange, it's got burgundy, it's got some uh, bright green that you can kind of see going through it. So on my ribbon, I'm using this four inch. You see how it's got the burgundy, the bright orange, it's got brown. It's got a little bit of copper kind of going around it that's kind of got a shimmer to it. And then I'm pairing it with this, and I hope you can see this, but this is actually copper with a little bit of gray and some brown going through it. And then I'm using a kind of a brown uh, pecan, actually I think it's called pecan, velvet narrow ribbon to kind of finish it off. So you can kind of see how pretty those colors go with the ribbon up close. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out, I'm gonna put some of my filler in behind my bow and then I'm gonna work my way up here and then we're gonna finish doing it um, there along the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and push some of these up a little bit. And I've got my electric skillet on about 325. I get asked that all the time. A few of you asked me why I use an electric skillet and not the glue pots that you can buy online. Actually, they're all the same. They just didn't have glue pots like they have now. When I was used, uh, first started out, everybody, we just used the electric skillet. And I've had my old girl here for many, many years. It's not pretty, but it still works. So I just kind of keep using that. Okay, so my first pick, I've put it directly right behind my bow. And then I'm gonna take my next pick. And I'm just gonna kind of fluff it out just a little bit. And I'm going to place it along the top, right behind my first, kind of my top tail coming up. So there's my first pick. And see how nice and full it looks behind it just by using the one pick? Now I'm going to add my filler in between each one of my picks because I'm going to break up some of that all white coloring with our copper and browns. And now I'm gonna take my second longer pick. Okay, this has got these green leaves on here that I don't like. I'm gonna cut them off. You don't have to. But the coloring of the leaves, to me, just do not match the pick. 
See how bright those are and how soft? I So I cut those out. actually going to make that one filler a little bit shorter. Okay, I'm going to re-glue this part of it in. I don't want it to hang so far down here. I want it to put it tighter up in between my two pumpkins. like that. So see how that kind of breaks up that color in between the pumpkins? I'm going to add another piece of my filler coming out of here. I'm going to move some of my grass down a little bit. There's my berries. And then on these white berries, I'm going to take and kind of curl the ends of the stems a little bit. See how nice and full it is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom part of it, and then we're going to come back and add some more little fillers there. Kind of bend my stem a little bit. And I'm going to take this one right up underneath the bottom of my bow, because what it does, it kind of helps your loops to kind of stick out a little bit and not lay so flat. Take that up nice and tight. We're going to move our grass around. Actually, I might try to take this grass up a little bit. And we'll move our berries around. So see how this is coming up right underneath there so it helps those loops? Let's do our second one. I'm going to do a filler first. I was jumping ahead too quick. I'm going to take that right up behind it. So I took this one right up behind the pumpkin and I kind of bent it out a little bit so it doesn't lay flat. Let's add our next stem. our filler. And I'm actually going to do three on the bottom. I'm going to take one more right up here and then I'm going to leave this spot open with the um, grapevine.
And I'm just going to kind of bend my stem a little bit so it kind of goes in at an angle. I'm going to take a zip tie and zip tie this down because I do want this to stay up here a little bit tighter. I cut this grass off, but we're going to use it, I think. I use zip ties all the time. You can use pipe cleaners or wire. But zip ties for me are fast and less work. Okay, let's take our grass up. I'm gonna move some of our berries around. Let's get some going, twirling some of them. Okay, I'm going to add a piece of my filler right down here. And I'll show you it up close. So see how the filler is kind of breaking up the white on white? with all the different colors going around it. I'm gonna cut this one a little shorter. Okay, next I'm gonna add some really soft little florals. And you'll notice the colors are gonna really go out, go along with the different colors in our filler. But I wanna add another dimension, so we're gonna add a couple of florals. You don't need to do this part, but I just think it kind of makes it a nice soft texture to it. So let's add a few more. I'm gonna move this up. I didn't like having the two florals right there in a row. I kind of wanted to break that up a little bit. So let's add a couple at the bottom. And like I said, you don't have to add the florals. We're not going to add a lot, just a couple. I'm 
Okay, I've got one piece of my filler. I'm gonna add it right over here because you probably can't tell, but there is a hole right there behind my bow. So we're gonna fix that real quick. And I'm gonna push these up a little bit. Much better. And I always tell, tell you guys, after I get done making my designs, I always walk away from them for a while and then I'll come back and nine times out of 10, I'm gonna make a change, I'm gonna add something, I may take something out. There's times I'll take florals out and add a different floral. So don't be afraid to change your designs up. Okay, that is all those little flowers I have. It's looking really pretty. Okay, I have one more dimension I think I'm going to add is just a couple of these berries. I like it to look nice and full. I kind of like different dimensions that when you're looking at a wreath, you can see different um, items that are in your design. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go with this. And designs like these are kind of fun because you can just see what you have in your stash of ribbons or berries or florals and just add to it. Okay, one more berry and I think we are done. Okay guys, I'm gonna scoot my camera back just a little bit and I can hold this up so you guys can have a better view of it. So there it is, nice and close. And see how nice and full it is? So to recap on this one, it's an 18 or 20 inch round grapevine. I did a bow with three different ribbons and then I, I used one pick of the burgundy, burgundy, oranges, you know, bronze. And then we used one, two, we used five of the Hobby Lobby picks. We did three on the bottom, two on the top, and I did a filler stem in between each pumpkin when I added it. Then I added an extra one right here, and I ended with that pick there, and then I just did some fill-ins of some flor little florals, and then a couple of little berries going through it. 
So I'll clean up. And like I said, I'll put this aside for a while, then I'll come back and see if I need to add anything. But what a beautiful design that you could display now, clear through Thanksgiving until you switch things over to your Christmas designs. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, I apologize for about the two week delay. Um, but hopefully you'll see several designs for me next week and I will try to get caught up on all the different designs that I've got to get done before uh, the holiday season. So have a great day and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.